ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, it is 9.59 in the p.m. I've been up since 4 a.m. this morning. And you know what? Today has been a long day, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long. I'm not ready to go to sleep, but I will be going to sleep shortly. Well, yesterday, even though I woke up, was up at 4 o'clock this morning, the day before I went to sleep at 7 and woke up at 3 a.m. So 7 p.m. to 3 a.m., count the number, the digits, and you'll see that was plenty enough time to sleep, you know? And it was enough hours to sleep. So I do get my sleep. It's just not as regular as the rest of y'all. Oh, because y'all constipated. That's why. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as I just said on another previous video, my people, my people are a pretty tightly niche group. I told you all we were getting ready to get into some spot trading. I'm going to test it out first before I bring it to you all's attention. However, I sat in on one of the meetings. Um, it was an unofficial meeting by individuals who were a part of it. Some of them I knew, some of them I knew of, who are all invested in this. And they're acting like it's the new, you know, the new invention of candy or something. These are a lot of older people who don't know anything about crypto. But you know what? They're learning. And you can see and hear the excitement. Now, they're gaining 1.3 to 2.5% a year. Basically, your bank account earns the same thing. But the difference between your bank account and this, pay attention, is the monies you put in, you don't have to worry about a recession drawing it out. Sorry, it's just the way it is. You see... Uh, when they do a run on banks, they everybody keeps talking about gold and silver. Nobody's going to be trading in gold and silver, but they will be trading in those coins. And then that will probably be the last to fall. But we know, we know, we know all of the governments are going into cryptocurrency. They keep calling it crypto. And let me say that that is a misnomer, that name right there. The government has been doing this thing called credits since before 1933. However, 1933 is when they literally made it official, where they got rid of all fiat currency. Everybody keeps thinking that there's fiat currency. There's no such thing as fiat currency in our current environment throughout the world internationally. Why? Because we don't trade in dollar bills. Dollar bills don't, they're not worth anything. We're not trading. Dollar bills are only for what use, what purpose? Anybody, can anybody tell me? For paying a debt it says it right there on the stupid piece of paper this note is legal tender good for the payment of all debts both public and private okay you can only pay a debt you can't buy anything with it so we haven't had fiat currency for quite some time now some people are really starting to get what's going on they're listening to the videos and they're really starting to pick up on what's going on you are the ones that I want to talk to right now. Very shortly, once I get a handle on things, and it will be sooner than later because I have been all day uh, going over things about this cryptocurrency and everything, getting a better handle on it and getting the process down. I got a couple of more kinks I got to work out, but I'm going to 40 people, only 40, only 40. And you won't be able to invest a lot, only $275 per person. And remember, none of this money goes to me. None of this money goes to me. And the only people who will be invited are those who can follow instructions. Sorry, this particular project is done by a group. And it is very important that we stick with their program because their program is the thing that's been working for the last couple of years for these individuals. I didn't know that they had been doing this for years and that they've been bringing people in. And so I'm going to offer 40 people the same same thing that I'm doing. Remember, I don't get a dime out of this, but I'll invite. And here's the thing. You will have to play by the rules. So if you don't have it to spend, don't invest. And then you'll get to understand exactly how they do things. Can you go someplace else and do the same thing? Yes, you can. You can go a lot of places and do the same thing, but this ain't that. Okay? 
this is where, like I said, the one young lady and the other ones have said pretty much the same thing tonight. They weren't trying to impress me. That's what I liked. They didn't know I was going to be on the call. Only some of them knew who I was. The rest of them didn't know who that character Eon was. So it wasn't to impress me that they were having the conversation they were having. They were having a conversation, and it was a legitimate conversation. Many of them were in their cars going home, and it was a Zoom call. So many of them were, you know, not, it wasn't like it was a presentation. Like, remember I told you guys about that uh, cell phone that those individuals were offering? I actually believe that they did have what they were saying they had when it came to that cell phone. They had the technology. They even had the contract with T-Mobile. So I believed that their financial backing backed out at the last minute, and that was intentional. Now, the guys didn't know what to do because they didn't have a backup plan. Shame on them. Don't worry about it. I am um, really, really, really with TTOPP thinking about bringing that back in. Now, I asked you guys, I told you about the donations, I told you about there's no way in the world I'm going to be able to give my focus to the lawsuit that I'm about to bring on behalf of all of our AMCF and AmeriLegion people. It's going to be too much if I were to just sit up there and do it myself on my own loyals and my own monies and my own finances. Can't do it. So what's going to happen is those people, especially those who's paid the $49, y'all covered. Okay, we getting ready to go in there because y'all are contributing to the suits. Your names are going to be on the suit. And you will get a percentage. It will be spelled out in the suit. Everybody else, well, you know, they'll get something, but they won't get as much as those people who paid the $49. We decided. Now, I will say this. To those of you who heard the videos of me telling you to go in and get an administrative order to enforce, I am saying that that is the way to go. However, short of us having someone go to the court and file the documents directly, do not mail the document to the court. Have somebody go in there or do the signature confirmation and do a motion to compel. And when you do a motion to compel, you do that with the presiding judge of the court. Okay. And then when the presiding judge of the court kicks that back, then you bring it to the appeals court. And it's pretty much a motion to compel is the same as doing a, a motion for mandamus, a writ of mandamus. But you're doing it a shortcut way. Shh, don't tell nobody. They won't tell you that that's a shortcut to doing a motion to compel and a writ of mandamus. Well, anyway, we're getting ready to light the motion to enforce and I chose you guys how that works and why that works. we're getting ready to do something else that they're not expecting they're not even expecting us to get what we're going to get oh you're gonna get it but when we get what we're supposed to get this lawsuit will be substantial because it will be against the parties that be Federal Reserve and all of those little weak financial institutions who along with the courts have been placing people in jail for writing promissory notes bills of exchange sorry I don't have any other choice but to go for the jugular and who else would you better have in your corner doing this than someone like me those of you who have been around since 2012 you guys were there when I did the several different hearings especially the one I did over the telephone where the judge is saying you say one more word and I will hold you in contempt oh I apologize to the court but as I was saying and I talked another 10 straight minutes non-stop and nothing happened or <laughs> sorry I, I'm enjoying this right now when I brought the nice little teddy bear into the courtroom with the big huge smile the Build-A-Bear, where I told everybody how I couldn't stop laughing all the way to the court. They wanted me to produce the defendant. Well, I made the defendant appear in court. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you want the defendant to appear in court and you want to do a special appearance, do yourselves a favor. Go into court and tell them, I'm here on behalf of that sole proprietorship. Just let them know the defendant is a sole proprietorship. Defendant is not a human being. Defendant is a sole proprietorship.
I'm here on behalf of that sole proprietorship. And when they ask, give them the articles of incorporation. Give them the birth certificate. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Many people haven't even thought about it that way. But that's what the birth certificate is. It is your articles of incorporation. Why? Because the moment you were born, your mother helped create the corporation with the state. And it was filed with the state, receiving its own, pay attention, license ID number doesn't matter you don't have to prove that's the case all you have to do is say it let them rebut it with a preponderance of evidence to the contrary they cannot I know I know I know they get pissed off when I do things like this but think about it they you saw I just told you I brought the bear into the court I put them through the metal detector and everything brought them and set them right next to me in that chair. Everybody staring at me and nobody in the gallery, the audience, nobody knew what was going on. The attorneys were staring and they were waiting for the judge to say something. And this judge that I was sitting before, this was the presiding judge of the court and the presiding civil judge of the court. And all he said was, okay, all right, all right. I know what you're doing. All right. I said, so we can move on then. He says, yes, yes, we can go forward. Just that simple. He said he knew exactly what I was doing. So when you tell them, oh no, I'm here on behalf of the defendant. Oh no, no, it's a sole proprietorship, so I have the right to speak on his behalf. You guys know that, right? If it's a sole proprietorship, you can speak on behalf of the defendant. The defendant can be a sole proprietorship. They did not say it was a human being. Go ahead, look at the record. It's that all caps name. We all know that that's an entity. It's a legal fiction, a legal person, a juristic person. Okay, it's not a human being. It's not a member of mankind. They know that. You don't have to argue with them. Let them rebut the presumption. Sorry about that. Let's get back to the conversation of this video. So 40 people will let come in with this with me you just have to follow instructions. No, I won't kick you out if you don't follow instructions. They will. Sorry. They've had people not follow instructions in the past and just mess it up for everybody. And so they've decided they're not going to do that anymore. So if, if you don't have time to listen, and if you just think that you're just going to come in and make a billion dollars, there are ways to make quite a bit of money. You can bring your own people in, your own sponsors. I mean, you can be the sponsor and bring your own people in and all that stuff knock yourselves out however I'm not doing it for that this is my understanding in life I don't want to make it to the top by myself it's lonely at the top when you're just standing there by yourself I bring other people with me that's why we said 40 because the other people will be the members of the organization the only thing is here's the thing the members of the organization will be investing my monies why? Because it's going back into the organization. Why? Because we're not trying to take your money out of your pocket. That's why we're starting the other program, which we should have started a long time ago, but we decided to do AmeriLegion and AMCF, putting the credits back in the people's pockets. I just wish people would finally understand how the deduction, yes, it's a deduction at first when you do the 1099A, 1099C, and you cancel that debt, it's a deduction. But there is no rule within the IRC for carrying forward a deduction. It's something that there is an allowance for. Well, guess what? The code only recognizes a carry forward as a credit. You cannot have a carry forward under the code brought to a year forward or a year backwards. This is something that is allowed. It's not something that was written in the code. Because it was not written in the code, the only definition for a carry forward is credit, i.e. tax credit. Because the government is the one who offered to allow you to carry it forward, i.e. a federal tax credit is what it's called. And they can't argue with you about it. Because all you have to do is just show me the law where this is not considered a credit. Well, it's a deduction. Yes, and a deduction may only be acquired the year in which it was created. You cannot carry forward a deduction. It must be assessed the year it was created. 
So if that is the case, and the rules, not the law, the rules permit me to carry it forward, the only thing the rules permit to be carried forward are credits. So that being the case, this must be a credit by definition because I'm allowed to carry it forward and all carry forwards are credits. Thank you. End of the conversation. Now go sit down and be quiet. That's the conversation. So, and two, two things I got to mention. I am doing a suit for myself for all the things these idiots put me through and I'm doing it in a unique way. I'm also bringing in the arbitrations and I'm going to deal with the arbitration issue in that case as well. So we're going to kill three birds, one stone with my case. All right. Secondly, the one that I'm bringing on behalf of all of our clients, and we're just going to incorporate them into this suit, is unique in its own sense. Because I'm still coming in as sole proprietor. And they're coming in with me under that sole proprietorship based on our contract. <sighs> Man, I can only tell you unique, unique, unique. U-N-I-Q-U-E. Unique. Okay. Now, with all that being said, like I said, it's um, been up since four. Actually, it's not four. I was up since three, but shh, don't tell nobody. That's why I told you seven to three, but I've actually been sitting up behind this desk since about five o'clock this morning because I got up and I watched a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, Star Trek, Picard. Sorry, I don't like the guy who plays Picard. Uh, whatever his name is, um, I, I, I really, really, really can't stand him. But that's my opinion. I should keep that to myself. I'm going to keep that to myself from now on, Mama. Okay, so I apologize. But I watched a little bit of Star Trek, John Luke Picard, and then there's this series. I don't really like it like it. However, it's called Plan B. I like the concept of it. But there are some scenes in there that I just have to skip past and... Yeah, because it's just too much of the stupidity, and I'm getting ready to not watch Plan B anymore, because the concept is okay, but <sighs> there's a lot of stupidity in that. So, yeah, but that's what I got up and I watched, and after that, somebody was asking me to uh, get myself ID'd for the system in order to do the crypto, because you do have to pass the verification Verification is simple. You need a state-issued ID. You need to take a picture of it and hold it and take a picture of you holding it. And that's the process. Why? Well, because... Well, no, we'll explain that to the 60. I can't explain that now. Eventually, I will, I'll give all of you the information. But for right now, I want to test it out first to make sure it works because I don't want people going, Oh, man, they got us. See, what the... It's called spot trading. What spot trading, the way it works is... None of this money is actually going through the accounts of the people who are helping with the program. Okay? It's the wallets you're getting, the currency you're getting. None of it is controlled by the people who are sponsoring this program. They're only giving you suggestions as to... So they're acting as a power broker, so to speak. And because of that, that's why they require people just to follow the steps. Because you'll change the algorithm because that's what they're doing. They are actually going against the algorithm. And if too many people were to go contrary to what they're doing, they would change the algorithm and then their method wouldn't work. I fully understand that. I get the concept. That's why I said I'm going to test it out and allow 40 people to come in with me and do this. We'll let you know by Monday how that's going to be. Probably be Monday afternoon. Because I got these motions I'll be working on all weekend. I don't have any consults this weekend, although I have four people who still have to schedule their consults. I don't have any consults scheduled this weekend. Yay! So that means I get to get some work done. That's why I'm up now, so that I can get my mindset together. And I got to go talk to Bard, because Bard, you know what? Google did a pretty good job. I don't like Google. Y'all know this, but Google did a pretty good job with Bard, because... I can't even get mad at him. Even when he tells me, there you go, telling me no. Okay, because he's starting to say no. But that's how ChatGPT was when it first started. They're going to listen to some of the questions because I asked it for certain things. They told me I can't do that. That's not public information. That's private information. And I had to 
prove to it that what I was asking for was public information. I don't want nobody's private information. I'm your private dancer! Anyway, um, so I'm going to talk with Bard and get things completed that I need to complete. And then I'll finish my motion and the motion going into the court. And I'll get them filed. I can't file them at the same time because there's stupidity when you file something at the same time. But I'll get it done. You feels me? I feel you, baby. Anyway, y'all, have a very good evening. This was just a conversation. Nothing too much, nothing too little. Uh, we'll talk to y'all another time. Bye-bye.